My name is uh, Nestor Duru, um, a film director and a writer, and I uh, have some passion, uh, which is farming. Jason show and uh, this is a special program for you all and uh, my guest my special guest here is uh, Nestor Doom. Uh, first of all introduce yourself and tell us who you are uh, well I'm Nestor Duru and um, I'm a film director I live in Paris since uh, about 40 years now so I recently visited Nigeria and then um, while I was in the village, I saw that there's a lot of hunger at home. Uh, the prices of food stuff have gone up. Oh, okay, Nestor, uh, do, sorry to interject. Uh, we shall come to your story um, when you went home. Um, I would like to introduce my co-host. My, my co-host is Elonji Agor. Elonji, could you please tell us one or two things before we go to the main subject which he has already started? Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, yes, my name is Nandi Agor. Elonji Nandi Agor. And um, I train and teach people how to speak and speak effectively. And so I've been here for some time and uh, I, I'm enjoying the show. Very good. And uh, guys, I did not introduce myself. I'm very, very sorry for that. My name is Supreme Jusor. For those of you who do not know me, I'm a writer, I'm a filmmaker, and I'm, I'm, a, and I'm a film director. So today I am hosting this show because uh, we're going to talk about farming. Tell us, first of all, what inspired you to start a farm project? Well, in the first place, uh, like I said earlier on, uh, I saw that there's a lot of hunger at home. Uh, the price of commodities has so, um, gone up so high. Uh, that of gari, rice, beans. And um, imagine in a country where uh, the uh, minimum wage is not up to 30,000 naira. And uh, about five liters of a pint of gari, as they call it, is about 1,000 more than 1,000 naira. Uh, that means anybody, any family of uh, a family with two or three kids will not be able to uh, feed itself. So, and then uh, I saw that there's, you know, there's hunger at home. And luckily, my family has a lot of farmlands which are exploited, you know, some have not been used since about 20 years. So I, I decided to go into farming. In the first place, I went for my holidays, but um, I saw that I couldn't stay idle in the village. So, with the little money I had, I started to uh, hire the local labor, and then uh, you know they started clearing the, the bush, the forest, and after we started tilling the ground, and then eventually we started planting. Yeah, cassava and maize. Lonji, how do you see this farm? <laughs> it is very fantastic. Amazing, right? It is amazing. Awesome, awesome. A lot of people around in Europe uh, have been dreaming to do this kind of thing and he has finally done it you know, from dream to reality. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Now, tell us now how you started. Because when you were going on holidays, like you just said, you had no intention of uh, uh, farming, yes, in the village, but did it just occur? What pinched you? 
and how did you start no. this, this journey of farming now? Well, like I said, uh, my family has a lot of land, farmlands which have not been exploited you know, since about 15, 20 years. And I saw that there's a lot of hunger at home. And I decided, I said, well, you know, I have to use uh, what I have, you know, to obtain what I don't have. And that's why, um, in order to help the people too, uh, to uh, share the poverty at home, the uh, poor condition of the at home. So I decided to go, you know, use the farmland we have to start it also. We, we understand that, but we saw you cutting the bush, farming, showing examples. Uh, how did this energy come to you to, to use yourself for stuff like that? Well, an well, because in, in the first place, I had to hire uh, some people at home. And since I didn't know the, um, the ranges of prices at home, how much you know, is paid per day, so uh, I had to do the job first to know how difficult it is, so that I would know how much I'm going, you know, I'll be able to pay. You see, so somebody came in the first place and said, "Oh, right, I'm going to take about two thousand naira per day." Um, Give us the equivalent of two thousand naira because people well, today two thousand naira in should, euros should be around five within the range of between four to five euros today. That means for the whole day. For the whole day, yeah, but it's from uh, about 6 in the morning or 7 in the morning to around midday. So you mean you pay somebody? Yes, I, do. I was paying you about 5 euro per day for years. Um, which, is, which is, which is it's quite uh, a, a know, lot of money. Which is a lot of money over yeah, there. yeah, but it makes us laugh here. Uh, Longi, what do you have to say? Because what's very interesting is this man who threw himself in the arena and said, Let me start first and uh, others will follow me. And I know you have such projects also, and then you're doing some projects in Nigeria. Uh, is that an example to follow? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, in fact, that's why I came. came. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I came. came. What do you have with the money? Yes, exactly. Yeah. I, I, and again, he just came back from Nigeria recently, right? Yeah, I came back uh, three days ago. Okay, very good. Three days ago. Very as far as I can even smell it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and again, we can see he's very black. You know, he's not black at all. Sure, yeah. for sure. But I mean, okay. for, for two good months, I was in the. I mean, I was in the farm under the sun. With, the, with my workers, you see, so that's why I'm sometimes. Yes, that's okay, that's okay. That's okay. Just... <laughs>